You're in Braves country. Good morning. Welcome to Braves Country. Here by the armchair quarterback. As, uh, we will get rolling here. And uh, we've got a really big, I don't have to tell any of you in Braves Country today. We've got a really big series, and it begins tonight in New York. I'm sorry, in Atlanta versus New York. The Mets come a calling. There are two games in front of the Atlanta Braves as we head into the last couple of weeks of what I consider you know what your team is. Because when you're looking at the Major League Baseball season, I always say that that the first, what most people would call references as a quarter poll, even though it's actually a little farther into the season, but your first essential idea of where you're at on the litmus test is in just a couple of weeks when you hit Memorial Day weekend. And come Memorial Day weekend, I always feel like you've got a sense of where your team is. Are you in it? Are you out of it? This is a huge series. You can't get swept at home if you're Atlanta. And I would say... You desperately need to win two to put pressure on the Mets. A sweep would be phenomenal, but I never expect a sweep no matter what team, no matter how hot you're playing and how cold another team may be, I never expect a sweep because you can run into one buzzsaw pitcher and it changed the, the entire momentum. So tonight it's Taiwan Walker versus Max Freed. We know Max Freed has had his bumps and bruises. I did feel like Max Freed looked a little better last time out. I really did. I felt like that he was uh, to the point of not quite where he was at the end of last, last season, but pretty darn good. He gave a one earned run, six innings pitched. He did walk three. Atlanta did lose the ball game, but it was really the bullpen that lost it. We all know what happened against the Blue Jays. I don't even want to think about the Blue Jays anymore. Max Freed goes on the hill tonight. This this is as big as it gets because Taiwan Walker for the Mets. Y'all, if you haven't been watching the Mets, and you haven't been watching Taiwan Walker, you're not, you know, if you're not in fantasy baseball or whatever, the kid has been electric. I felt like he was one of the biggest free agents who was sitting out there this offseason, and I, did, I really wanted the Braves to go after Walker. They went after Smiley. We, we, you finally get to see Walker pitch a game tonight if you're a Braves fan. I've watched him a little bit. He looks pretty darn good. He's got 2-2 ERA, 1.02 whip, 41 strikeouts over 39 innings. He's gone seven innings the last two outings, which to me is the biggest part of it. Because you put a guy out there, he's your stopper, right? He stops losing streaks. The Mets are coming off of a sweep of the Rays. They're going to be in desperate mode. They got a little banged up. Jeff McNeil pulled a hamstring yesterday. I don't think he's going to be available. Jacob DeGrom is supposed to pitch a bullpen session today to see how he feels. He's not eligible to come off the IL until Friday, so that has not nothing bearing to this series. They send Taiwan Walker to the hill today. Tomorrow is a question mark. It might be a bullpen get, bullpen day. They might bring someone up. Right now, we don't know. Tomorrow, it's Charlie Morton versus question mark. We'll probably know a little more later on this afternoon. I would think the Mets will, will, will get it in order. Uh, definitely by game time when they do the pregame uh, press conferences, I'm sure, I'm sure it will be addressed. And then Peterson versus Smiley on Wednesday. And that is a crapshoot because Smiley has pitched pretty well the last couple of times out, but we know how he's been shaky. And Peterson, don't let his record fool you. 
he's a much bigger, much better pitcher than what his record is showing. He pitched well against the Rays on Friday night. I watched the majority of that game. He pitched really well. He just got really unfortunate at the, it was kind of like the Max Fried loss to the Blue Jays where he pitched really well. He comes out in the bullpen, gave up the win. So the, two difficult pitchers on Monday and Wednesday. We do, we think it could be a bullpen game. There are, there are some other options that they could uh, bring up, but uh, the, it should be DeGrom spot. And obviously DeGrom is still on the IL does not come off until Friday, Friday. So, the Braves take two out of three out of Milwaukee. That was great. You know, a or excuse me, Wasker, you know, a struggle. I always want to call him, you know, because when I first came up, that's what they said. And now they're pronouncing E Noah, which makes a lot more sense. But, you know, to me was, I think a lot of Braves like to use, you know, because it says, you know what? But anyways, um, he struggled yesterday. The Braves come roaring back. And then we got the situation where. Snicker played Stinny ball and he defends it in this way. Look, I can't, I, I, I see what he's saying. Okay. But basically he said it's one game, but we've got 150 left or whatever it is. End quote. Now, first of all, Snicker, you know, damn good. Well, it's not 150 games left. You know that I know that the, the universe knows that there's not 150 games left when you've already played uh, 40, 150 would be for sitting around 10 games. We're, we're, we're such at the quarter pole right now, but I get what he's saying. You got about 120 left. So I'm not going to rake him over the coals for that. And he was saying that he just didn't want to use certain guys. Of course, we know what happened. Biddle gave up runs. Then you got, then, then they come roaring back with the Freddie grand salami and you've got, that's the problem. I think a lot of Braves fans had is that, that he comes in, you come roaring back. He comes in and he gives up more runs and you didn't have the high leverage guys there. And I think that's what everyone did. But you have to look at the big picture. They won the series. The Mets lost. So they gained two games on the Mets over the weekend. The two out, the Phillies are a half game out as they lost the last two after beating Philly, uh, excuse me, uh, Philly beat Toronto in the first game. By the way, Philadelphia is falling apart. You see Segura going at it with uh, Girardi in the dugout. Keep an eye on that because that, that Philadelphia press, I would think, would be aggressive towards Girardi. They asked him about it. Of course, we got these Zoom meetings right now, so they're not as much in their face. But he basically said, we're moving on. We're not going to talk about what happened. A good Philadelphia sports writer would go to his contacts and talk to someone who was in that dugout off the record and find out what the hell they were arguing about. But you don't see that happen on many teams that, that succeed. When you have someone who is in the face of the of the uh, of the manager, the head guy, it means he doesn't have quite control of the clubhouse. I have faith that Girardi's a really good manager. I get that, but that's an issue. That's a big time issue. And so some of the things that that Snicker did bring up in the uh, post game conference was basically he kind of laid it out. Will Smith had been used a lot, so they didn't want to use him. Chris Martin just came off the aisle. They didn't want to use him. I really think what yesterday came down to is Snicker was trying to win the game the best way he could without depleting his bullpen going into the Met series. Because as much as people are killing him, imagine what happens if all of a sudden – The Braves do bring some of these guys in who are tired, and there's no guarantee that they pitch well. And they still give up enough enough runs to lose the game. The Braves lost 10 to 9 if people missed the ball game. They were down 8 nothing. They came roaring back, scored 7, and then they they put in what everyone's looking at is the lesser 
of the bullpen arms. They gave up another two runs. The Braves came back and scored another two runs. They lose 10 to nine. But he was trying to win a game, one of 162, without depleting his bullpen going into a big Met series. Because what if you lose the game and you use your bullets and then nobody's available tonight? And Max Freed has been suspect on how, how fast he could go. How, how far he could go, excuse me. And Max, what, what if Max Free gets banged around in the fifth inning? He's going to start going to the bullpen. And everyone's like, oh, God, he wrecked the bullpen yesterday. So you can't win with that. So I normally I question sticker on a lot of things. I'm not going to question him on this. This is a, this is a no brainer that he's trying to do what he can do. We all know Biddle and, and uh, Tomlin are not the guys you want in the high leverage situation. Those are guys just be eating innings. I'm hoping that we see Shane green this series. That news hasn't came out yet, but I'm hoping Shane green might be ready to go. It's probably not realistic. I'm thinking what's more realistic is that Shane Green's ready to go either this weekend or early next week. But that would be the perfect scenario, wouldn't it be? And a couple of things we have out here. Uh, talked about the injury bug to the Mets. The Mets have a lot of guys that are injured. So the Braves at home, that you got to win two out of three. You can't let them come into your house and take the W. And you've got to manage this like the season is on the line because there's no excuse to lose the series at home to the Mets. A team that you've owned, by the way. I'm, I'd love to see a sweep, but I'm trying to be realistic on that. You got the Mets at home for three. And then you have four starting uh, Thursday at home against the Pirates. I believe bare minimum for to call this a successful homestand for a team that's talking about going to the World Series. I think you got to go five and two this week for it to be considered a successful homestand. Because after that, guys, we got two at Boston and three in the Mets stadium. I almost said New York, and I don't want to confuse people on which New York it is. Heading into Labor Day, where, where, they, where they'll come home and, and play the Nats. So after this six-game, uh, excuse me, seven-game homestand, they're on the road against a really good Boston team, that they tend to struggle with up in Fenway. And then they're at the Mets. So you can go five and two, six and one this week and be feeling good about yourself because there's a good chance you could go two and three, one and four next week. So, so it all balances itself out, right? So the Braves, huge series. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow to react to this series. Hopefully get a W. Try to, I, tonight, I would love to see... Remember something about the Mets. That bullpen has struggled. The offense has struggled. Do the little things, Braves, to get the runs across. I beat this drum almost every day. Work the pitch count. But more importantly than that, you get, you get a leadoff double. Move the son of a gun over to third by hitting the ball to the right side of the infield or outfield and then get them home on a sack fly. Do the little things. You can't lead off. By the way, Ronald Acuna Jr. should should be back tonight as well. That, that was the last night that I had. Uh, he, he came in and pinch hit um, yesterday, so I would think that what they were doing, they were resting him for tonight's game. They want him ready for the, for the Mets. But do the little things, and we will absolutely get, get the win Tonight, get into their bullpen. Really try to get it. If you can get into their bullpen tonight, and they're doing a bullpen game tomorrow, possibly, when they roll Peterson out on Wednesday, 
They're going to be playing some snitty ball out there and just putting Bobo the clown in to eat the last few innings because they don't want to wreck their bullpen. We are getting out of here. Great luck to Atlanta and the Braves tonight. And, uh, oh, by the way, it's tax day. So if you haven't put your taxes in, sucks to suck, get them in. We'll see you tomorrow. You're in Braves country.